In this video, we present our work that has been accepted for presentation at CVPR 2021 conference. Learning by Aligning Videos in Time, or LAV, is a novel, self-supervised learning algorithm that learns visual representations by aligning frames of unlabeled videos, leveraging both video level and frame level cues. Our work on LAV is partly funded by NASA's Human Research Program. Our goal is to learn fine-grained representations for videos in a self-supervised manner, and we achieve this using alignment as a pretext task. Learning association between frames with varied viewpoints and scenes allows us to learn action-specific representations without any cost of labeling. These representations can be used for multiple downstream tasks, including video alignment, phase classification, and frame retrieval. We also show that these representations help learning under label scarce settings. We sample two videos and pass them through an encoder to get frame wise embeddings. We use a differentiable version of discriminative time warping, soft DTW, to find the alignment discrepancy between the two sequences and minimize it. Unfortunately, only optimizing for soft DTW leads to trivial solutions. That's why we present a temporal regularization term, namely contrastive inverse difference moment, or contrastive IDM. Contrastive IDM optimizes for temporally disentangled representations, i.e. temporally nearby frames are projected to nearby regions in the embedding space and vice versa. This avoids trivial solutions and improves generalization. We show our alignment results on the pen action dataset. Here we show the reference video, the query video, the result of aligning query video with the reference video, and the TSNE visualization of the embeddings of these two videos. In this visualization, each point denotes a frame and green and blue shades denote the two videos. As we see, our method is able to reliably align two videos of the same action type despite large variance in scene, appearance, and motion. We also show qualitative results from our in-house datasets of long, multi-step activities. In these demonstrations of assembling a desktop computer, notice how each step of the activity is aligned precisely among two different actors. We emphasize that no labels were used for training these models. Now look at the TSNE visualization. Note that the frames of corresponding steps lie close to each other in the embedding space. This indicates that the learned embedding function is doing what it's supposed to do, i.e. laying out the embedding space according to subtle changes in human and object poses. We also achieve noticeable gains in downstream fine-grained tasks. In low-label data regimes, we achieve significant improvements over fully supervised baselines and decent performance gains over other state-of-the-art approaches, including TCC, TCN, and SOL. We also show that LAV is able to discriminate more fine-grained cues than previous methods such as TCC. Given a query image of the stick swung back phase of golf swing action, we retrieve the five closest frames in the embedding space. As we can see, LAV retrieves all frames from the same phase of the action. However, TCC retrieves some very similar looking images from the end of the golf swing action. As highlighted by the pink circles, the golf ball is missing in these frames which implies that they are from the end of the action. Thanks for listening. Please check out our full paper on archive and visit us at CVPR 2021.